Well, hello, my YouTube family. Uh, welcome again. My name is Dr. Lee, Vanessa Lee. So I'm here again today with another video from The Joy of Signing. And today, this will be Chapter 7 in The Joy of Signing book. And it will start on page 94 if you have this new uh, book. So, um, again, I want to do my disclaimer. This is not an official ASL class. I'm making these videos for members of my church that want to learn how to do some sign, um, some ASL signs, and we're just going through this book, reviewing signs together as a group. So I hope you enjoy, and if you do, please hit the subscribe button, and you're welcome to leave any comments. I'll try to respond to them um, as uh, soon as I can. All right, so let's start with chapter seven. Chapter seven deals with physical movement and travel. So the first sign is to stand. So you're going to make a V, the V sign, hold your hand up, and you're going to put it upside down. So really, um, with movement, this would be like the legs of a person, and they're standing on the floor. So you put it in the palm of your hand. Stand. Stand. Okay, to stand. Now to fall, I am standing and then I flip over. Fall. I'm standing and then I flip over. This is to fall. When I am falling, I go off. So I'm standing and I kind of just go off. Off the hand, off the floor. Okay, standing and I fall off. Fall off. Fall falling. To um, slip or slide, I'm standing and then it's like my legs get from up under me and I slip. So standing, slip. Standing, slip. Okay. So let me kind of go over that again and make sure we don't get it confused. When I'm standing, the V hand shape and these are like my legs, stand. When I fall, my legs go up. This is to fall. When I am falling, I fall. So I'm going to do it a little bit more where I come off of the palm of the hand. When I slip, I am standing and I, my legs give out. I slip. This is slip. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. When I lie down, just lie lie down. Lie. I'm lying down, I'm reclining, I just have my legs flat, I'm relaxing. When I'm getting up, I'm here and I come up. To get up, you make the V-shape, your legs, and then you stand up. Your legs are here, and you come and you stand up. To stand up, or to get up. Now, when you wanna dance, you move your legs, okay? And, and that's how you dance. So, I'm going to move my legs. This is dancing. Just move your legs, swing your legs, okay? Dancing. When I want to jump, jump jump okay jump okay so let's go over the words on these two pages how would I do slip or slide I'm slipping and sliding very good stand and come okay slip or slide good good job okay I am falling down the stairs I am Falling down the stairs. How would I do falling? Okay. I'm going over. Falling. Very good. I'm going over. Falling. How would I do dance? Dance. How would we do dance? Yes. Move the legs. Dance. Great. How would I do to stand? To stand. 
Okay, yes. My legs and I just stand. Great. How would I do get up or arise? Get up. Legs up. Stand up. Legs stand up. You're doing very good. Very good so far. Okay, how would I do just to fall? Just fall. Correct. I'm standing and I fall. I'm standing and I fall. Good job. Good job. Okay, you know what? I need to get in the bed and just lie down. I just need to relax, lie down. How would I do lie down? Think about it, lie down. Yes, I just need to lie down. Just lie down. Okay, that's it. Just lie down. Great. Um, did we do everything? I think we didn't do jump. Jump. Stand, and I'm moving my legs. Okay, this is jump. And it kind of looks like I'm jumping. All right, great. Let's go to the next two pages. So on page 96 and 97. When I am climbing, climbing, I'm just going to go up, 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 up. This is climbing. So you want to alternate and move up. You're climbing. Okay? When I kneel, my hand up is kind of like this is the fork, and I'm going to bend my knuckles. So this is kneeling, like I'm on my knees. Because remember, we said that these two uh, digits of my uh, hand are like my leg. So when I kneel, I'm on my knees. So this is kneeling. The next sign that's in the book is to drown or to sink. Now, um, in the deaf community, there are a couple of ways that we do it. One way is in the book, and then I'll show you another way that we do it in the community for drown or sink. So in the book, you kind of make a V here, and you just like this is the water and you're just coming down under the water okay that's that's one way now the way that i do it i sign the w for water because this is the sign for water coming off of your chin and then my two hands the water is going over my head so if i want to say that i'm drowning i do water and show the water coming up over my head, drowning. That's the way I do it. But now again, we're going from the book, The Joy of Signing. So in this chapter, they're telling us to do the V, and then I'm just coming down under the water. Okay, I'm coming down under the water for drown or to sink. If I want to sit in a chair, I'm going to take my legs and sit so that my legs are across the seat of the chair. To sit, to sit, okay, or chair. I'm gonna hit it two times if it's a chair, one, two. And if it's a verb, I just want to sit, I'll hit it one time. Sit, and then chair two times, one, two. Okay. All verbs is, um, I do it once. Sit, that's an action. Chair, one, two. Okay? Let's say a person is restless, they're tossing from side to side, um, and they just can't seem to relax. No problem. Again, these are my legs, and I'm just going to just move it over side to side. I'm just tossless. I'm restless. I can't be still. I'm tossing and turning from side to side, and that's what this is. So I'm just kind of going from side to side with my legs, okay? That's to be restless, tossing, turning. If I want somebody to rise up, I just rise up, be seated. Now, I'm not in the choir at my church because I don't, I wasn't blessed with the voice to sing, but I have noticed that the choir director, when they want people to stand up, what do they do? Rise. And when they want people to sit down, what do they do? Sit. Well, that is the ASL sign for rise 
and sit. Okay, rise, sit. All right. Now, um, I'm going to show you two ways for walk. One way that I do it, and then also I'll show you the sign that they're doing in the book here on page 97. So, the jaw of signing says to walk, you just take your, your hand and you just do like this for walk. Okay, you just walk. I do walk, I take my legs and I do like this. Both ways are acceptable in the deaf community. So walk, I can do this, or I can do this. And I've, I've seen both of them. Uh, if you uh, watch some of the YouTube videos, you'll see it, you'll see both ways, interchangeable. We just need to know what they're doing. I mean, what the person is saying with their hands. All right. So to run. The book gives different ways for run. They give three different ways for run. So one is I'm just run. I'm just out of here. Out of here. I do run like this. Okay. You see how I kind of got my catching my index finger, catching my thumb and bend my fingers and I'll do run like this. This is the way that I like to do run. You can also put your um, thumbs together, bend your fingers, and then have your index finger move like this for a run. So there are three different ways for run. One way, out of here. I'm running. I'm gone. I'm leaving. Or take the hook, move it forward, or bend the index finger. But all three of those are acceptable ways for doing run. Like, I, I want to run a race. I'm, I'm running. Okay. And then to uh, escape or to run away. So I'm going to put, uh, make a V. And then when I escape, I, I leave. I, I leave. This is escape. To leave. Okay. Leave. And most people do it like this, departing, leaving, okay, escape, run away. All right, so climb, how would you do climb? Okay, very good. What about walk? And you can do it either way because I showed you two ways to do walk. How would you do walk? Good. Or great. Okay, how would you say uh, sit? I need for you to sit at the table so you can eat your dinner. Sit. Good. Sit. How would you do chair? One, two. You're going to hit it two times for chair. One time for sit. Okay. Um, Rise up. Easy one. Yes, you got it. Rise and be seated. Okay, great. You're doing good. Kneel. We should kneel down. Kneel. Okay, great. My knuckles. Kneel. Good job. Kneel. Okay. Kneel. Kneel. All right, what about if uh, I'm restless, I'm just tossing and turning from side to side? How would you do that? Restless? Okay, great. I'm just doing this, okay? Legs up, and I'm just going from side to side. I am restless. I'm tired. Great, good job. Escape. You know, there are some games on YouTube where they talk about the great escape rooms. They have a lot of escape rooms. How would you do escape? Great. Escape. Make a V. I'm here and I am escaping out. I am leaving here. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Escape. Great. Okay. Um, show me the three ways for run. Run. 
Or did I go over that one? Run. Okay, out of here. Run. And what? Run. Great. Give yourself a hand. You did great. Okay, let's go to the next two pages on page 98 and 99. So on page 98, I have March. So when I'm marching, it's like a group of people and they are what? M moving. Um, put my hands up so you can see. So they are moving together, marching. A group of people. So they're... These are the, the, the people and, and their legs, okay? And one hand is in front of the other, and now you just move forward. This is marching. One hand in front of the other hand, and you move forward. This is marching, okay? When I want to kick something, I have my hand here, and I just come up like I'm kicking a ball. Bring it from the side, kick, kick kick. If I want to say that something is awkward or clumsy, you want to make the three hand shake and you just want to go, oh, no, they kind of clumsy. Um, mm, it's, that's awkward. Three hand shape and you just kind of go back and forth. Okay. Awkward, clumsy. If I want to say that something deviated, you come together and you move over to the side. You have deviated or you have strayed away. You are off the point. You're not with me anymore. You have gone your own way. You have deviated. So this is to deviate or to stray away. Okay. To pass. When I want to pass somebody, I'm going to make the A handshake. And then I'm going to go past that, that person. So a handshake, and then I'm going to go past them. This is to pass. Okay. I want to pass you in line. We're running, and you pass me. Pass. Okay. A, we're in line. I'm, I'm right behind you, but now I'm going to pass you. Okay. When I follow, I am just right behind you. I'm following. Okay. I didn't pass you. I'm right behind you. Okay. I'm behind you. But if I am chasing you, I am really what? Right behind you. So I'm going to put some action into it so that the um, person that's, that you're signing to really know I'm chasing you now. Okay, I'm really chasing you now. Okay, and sometimes I'll even put a little bit more emphasis with it, like I'm really chasing you. Okay, I'm, I'm coming right behind you. To lead or to guide. Hold your hand out and you're going to take your fingers and then just guide me. Guide me. So take my fingers and guide it where you want it to go, over to the left. To the right, you want me to go straight ahead, lead and guide me, okay? When I depart or leave or withdraw, my hands are down and I just kind of bring it to an A shape, depart. The hands are down, you bring it toward the right and end up with an A, depart, okay? You end up with an A. So let me do it this way. Hands are out, and I bring it and end up with an A. I depart. Depart. You're here, and you depart. Depart. Or leave. And um, neglect, abandon, don't want to have anything to do with it. Just leave it. Leave it. Your palms are here, and you just point down. Leave it. I'm neglecting. I'm leaving it. Both hands and point down. Leave. Leave. Okay. Leave. Leave it. Abandon it. All right. Okay. So what about marching? How would you do march? 
we're in a band. We're getting ready to be in the parade. Our band is in the parade for the high school, and we need to line up so we can march. My group of people, yes, and here we go. Marching. Very good, marching. Very good, okay? I need for you to kick the ball. We're playing soccer, and I need for you to kick the ball. There you go. Kick it. Take your foot and kick that ball, okay? Kick it. How will you lead me or guide me? I need for you to lead me to the store because I don't know how to get to Walmart. I need for you to lead me to Walmart. Lead. Fingers and take me to whatever direction you want me to go. This is lead. Okay. Chase. The dogs are chasing me. I got to run. The dogs are chasing me. I'm here and they're are really after me. They're chasing me. Chasing me. Okay. Now, the dogs are following me. How would you do that? The dogs are are following me. How would you do follow? I'm just right behind you, buddy. Right behind you. Follow. Okay. Now, sometimes people would use this for a disciple, but when I do disciple, I make a D and then I put it and I just let the D's follow each other for a disciple. But the book is telling us for a disciple, you can also do this because a disciple was a follower, a follower person. Okay. So follower. Okay, you know what? It is awkward. I get clumsy when I, if I walk um, on a wet tile floor because the floor is so slippery, I, I'm clumsy. How would you do clumsy? Three, okay, yeah, clumsy, clumsy. All right, great. Um, so what have I, have I done? To pass, great. To pass, A shape, get in front of me. And to stray or to deviate? To stray or to deviate? We're together and I go off on the side. I have deviated. I'm not going with you, I've deviated. Okay, great, so that's those two pages. Let's go to the next two pages, okay? So, when I arrive, I arrive, I arrive. So, you kind of start close to your chest and then you land in your hand. Arrive, arrive, okay? If I want you to hurry, I'm going to make a, the H for hurry, H, and I'm just going to shake it or wiggle it. Hurry. Hurry up, hurry up. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Hurry up. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. I want to take a trip, a journey. I love to travel. Bend the hand shape and just go down, just kind of wiggling it out. Travel. Okay, travel. You I want to travel around. So just kind of go around your index finger. This is me, and I want to go around different places. I want to travel around. Travel or journey is this. Travel around or to hunt for something. Make the two circles with the index finger. Okay. Vacation, holiday, or to retire. I'm going to make my five and put it right here by the armpit. So I want to go on vacation. I want to retire. I just do it here. But if I'm just want to go on vacation and not do anything, I'll wiggle my finger. Just vacation and don't do anything. Or I can say I want to go on vacation. I want to retire. Just the five right by both armpits. Okay? The five hand shape by both armpits. To visit. I make the V and I'm and I'm gonna do kind of like a circle. Visit, and sometimes we'll use this for visitor. So visit person, 
visit person, visitor, but visit. I want to go visit Europe. I want to go visit Canada. I want to go visit Alaska. Visit. Or I can use this for visitor. I would be a visitor in Canada if I went to Canada. Visitor. Visit person. Okay. Suitcase, I just hold it, but I'm going to have my hand down by my waist and I just hold the suitcase like I'm holding a luggage. Okay. That's suitcase. All right. Suitcase and make a S handshake. Suitcase, you're holding it. Automobile and car. So I've seen a, a couple of signs for automobile and car. The book tells you just hold two hands like you're driving a stern wheel. Um, you're driving a car and you have your hands on the stern wheel. Most of the time they say put your hands at 10 and 2. So I have my hands here and I'm just kind of moving it. This is stern wheel like I'm driving a car. I've also seen the three. Um, sorry, I got problems with this finger here. It doesn't want to stay in. Um, I, I have the three handshake with the fingers, the number three, and I can just move it like that for a car, like I'm driving a car, okay? Car. But the book is doing this one. Put your hands at 10 and 2 and just kind of move it a little bit. Automobile, car, drive. All right? All right. To ride, I'm going to... Make like a C and have my thumb have my thumb out, and then I take my legs and get on the seat. So now I am doing what riding. My legs is on the seat, and I am riding. Riding. Okay. Um, to get in or get out. So I'm gonna make like an O, and when I put something in, I'm getting in. And when I take it out, I'm getting out. So go in, come out. In and out. Okay, so you can do your little V. In, out. All right? All right, so let's go back over these. To arrive, how would I do arrive? Very good. Arrive, arrive. Suitcase. How would you do suitcase? Yes, I'm going to hold my luggage uh, with the S. Hold my luggage suitcase on the side. Um, to travel. I love to travel. How would you do travel? Great. Yeah, make the little bent uh, V and just, just travel. Okay, just, just travel. I want to travel around. Travel around. Go around in a circle, both index fingers, round in a circle. Good job. Okay, I want to visit. I want to come over to your home and visit, or I want you to come to my house and visit sometime. How would you do visit? Yay, yes, with the V, visit. And make sure you move it around in a circle, okay, visit. Hurry up, hurry up. I want you to come visit me real soon. You got to hurry. Yeah. Hurry, 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 hurry. The H and you just kind of shake it around. Okay, great, great. Um, get in and get out. Get in, get out. Good job. The O, the V, get in, out. In, out. You're doing good. How would you say retire? I'll be so glad when I'm old enough to retire. I can just rest. Retire so I can go on vacation. How would you do retire or vacation? Yes. Hand, make a five right by the armpit and just kind of hold it up. Retire. Okay. Or vacation. Um, automobile. Automobile or car. 10 and 2, and just kind of move your hand like you're driving a car. Or remember I said sometimes we'll do the three finger, and we'll do this for car. Okay? 
All right, great. So I think we've done these, we've reviewed these two words. So let's go to the next two pages. And I think we only have three pages left. Yeah, okay. Let's go and do that. A collision. That means I've bumped heads. I've hit something. Collision. Collision. Now, flat tire, you're going to have the ground here, and you're just going to squeeze down. That's flat tire. The air has gone out. Flat tire. Okay. Air gone out. Gasoline. I have my tank, which is an O shape, and I take my thumb, uh, ball your fist up, and leave your thumb out, and you put it in the tank. Gasoline. You pour gasoline in the tank. And if you kind of look like it, when you take your thumb and do do like that, it kind of looks like that gasoline handle at the gas station, okay? Gasoline. Now, here's where I told you about the sign for the car with the three um, handshake, that finger back in. Okay. Um, this, this finger is supposed to be bent. I have problems with my fingers going, going in, so you have to excuse me with that, but it's supposed to be in, okay? So you have the three um, hand, handshake. So it talks about parking. I can park the car and just, just park, okay? Park. Or I can just say I'm moving the car and I can just park it over here or park the car over there. The three handshake the, with the finger, this is gonna be my car. So I'm driving and I can park over to the right. Or I'm driving the car and I can park to the left. So when I just take the car and stop, I have parked. Or I can park it on the ground. Okay, that's, that's park, park. This is just driving the car. Now, if I hold my hand on top and I take the car and go under, this is putting the car in the garage because now the car has a roof over it. So this is garage. Okay, the car is going into the garage. And if you have a double car garage, you have a car here and a car here. Double car garage. Okay. Traffic. Traffic. Both lanes going and coming. Traffic. Uh, five hand shape, they just moving slightly back and forth. You got traffic in both lanes. Now, um, on page 103, it talks about um, different ways for describing a road, a street, a path, a highway, and things like that. And we kind of use the um, initial for what the word stands for. So just taking my hands and doing like this, this is way. I want to say, show me the way. Show me the direction, the way. So I'll take my hands and I'll just do this for way. Or I can say, show me the way and I make a W and I'll do that. Same, same thing as I did with my straight hand. Both of that is way or I can do the W, okay? If I wanna say, I live on um, Green Road. The sign for road R, R, because road starts with an R, and then I just do that the same way as I did for way, but I'm doing an R, way, uh, road, road. Path, make a P and do the same thing, path, okay, path, just like way, road, now I'm going to do my P path, okay? Street, what am I going to do? Make an S and do the same thing. Street. And just kind of curve it a little bit. Highway starts with an H. And just do what? Curve it a little bit, okay? Now, if I want to say somebody is just going back and forth with me several times, we've been commuting back and forth, back and forth, you email me, I email you, and we're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
a hand shape and I'm just going between you and me, you and me, or between me and him, me and him. We're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. For a train or railroad, I have my railroad track and I got the train on top. Railroad track and the train on top. Okay, going uh, down the railroad. All right, so let's, uh, my friends, let's review these two pages. All right. You know, I hate to be in traffic. So how would you sign traffic? I hate to be in traffic. Ugh, just drives me crazy. And I live in Houston, Texas. And man, we have some traffic. Yes, traffic. Okay, traffic. Traffic. Oh my God, I got a flat tire. I got a flat tire. How would you do flat tire? Yay, you're doing it. I'm so proud of you. I wish I could see you. I'm going to give you a high five. Okay, that's a high five for doing a good job and another high five because you're on it today. I need to put gasoline in my car. How would I do gasoline? My tank, yay, and pour the gasoline in it. Great job, great job. Okay, um, you know what? I got into an accident. I had a collision. I had a collision. Yes, bump it. We, I, I hit him. Wasn't trying to hit him, but I hit him. There was a collision. Great, great. Okay, train. How would you do train? Yes, there you go, there you go. Okay, now for parking. How would I park my car? I want you to sign to me that I need to park my car. Yes, I have the street here, and I'm going to do what? Park it. Just park it. I want you to park it in the garage. How would you say sign putting a car in the garage for parking? Great. The garage has a roof, and I bring the car into the garage. I bring the car into the garage. Very good. Okay, garage. And it could be a one-car garage or a two-car garage. And if I was really rich, I may have a three-car garage. One, two, three. Okay, but I'm going to put the car in the garage. And this is what driving a car, just moving. And I can park with this classifier by driving a car, and I can park on the right hand side of the road, or I can drive my car and park on the left side of the road and just park it and leave it there. Great. Okay, let's go over the different ways for um, way, road, street, highway. Okay, way, I can just take my hand and do what? Way. Or I can make a W and go way. Great. Road. How would I do road? R. Road. Very good. Path. Starts with the P. Great. So I'm going to go path. Street. Start with an S. So I'm going to go what? Street. And how would you do highway? Highway. Yes, start with an H, so I'm going to do what? Highway. Now, we have been communicating back and forth on YouTube, going through different signs from the joy of signing. So, how would you do back and forth? Great job. Back and forth between me and you, you and me, and me and you, me and you, or me and him, me and him, me and her, me and her. But we've just been doing what? Going back and forth. Great job. Okay, just a few more left for, for this chapter. And then I'll try to do chapter eight. Um, I want to try to get back into the hang of it since I have a little bit more, more time now. Um, I was really sick the end of... Um, December and first part of January, real, real sick. 
um, but anyway, I'm doing a whole lot better now. So just, um, I, I, well, anyway, just know I'm, I'm doing better, and um, I think I can start doing at least a, a chapter a week. I'll try to do two. My goal is to have this, all of the chapters completed by the middle of um, June or July. That's, that's my goal. We're trying to do a chapter a week, but we'll see how it goes, but that's my goal. Okay, page 104, airplane. If I want to say airplane, airport, I'm flying, I kind of make the I love you sign and just take it up in the air. That's like an airplane an airport or I'm flying and the person should know what you're what you're saying based on um, the, the conversation that you're having if I'm if I want to say I'm driving to um, LaGuardia Airport and I spell out LaGuardia and I do this here airport I'll know that you mean airport and not I'm flying to LaGuardia airplane based on the the context of the sentence. So we use this for airplane, airport, and flying. Okay, I can say I flew to Houston. Okay, I flew to Houston. I, this I'm not going to say airport Houston, but I'm saying I flew to Houston. The context is going to, uh, the person will know what you're saying with that side. Motorcycle. So um, I don't drive a motorcycle, but you have those handlebars and you take one and you just kind of make that uh, tilt your wrist, kind of like how people make a noise with it. Burn, 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 burn. So this is motorcycle. Okay, but you got to have both uh, fists up here with the S uh, hand shape and turn that handle. Burn, burn. You don't have to make a noise, but just they'll, they'll know what that is, motorcycle. Now, ship and boat, the book kind of breaks it up, but in the deaf community, we kind of do both of them to, together. I may say a big boat for a ship or just a boat. But in, in your book on page 104, for a ship, they make the three hand shape and put it in the hand and just let it kind of move on the water. That's ship. A boat, you take both of your hands and kind of cup it and just let it move on the water. This is boat. But again, in the deaf community, I have seen ship, they'll say a big, like a great boat or a, a large boat for a ship. And then if it's just like a fishing boat, a small, you know, a small boat, they'll just do this. Okay. And then for a wagon, a carriage, or buggy. It's just like you're um, doing a, a range, but you just kind of go uh, in, in a circle. So I'm kind of like uh, this handshake, and I'm just going round and round in a circle for carriage. Okay? All right, my friends. Um, let's kind of review the words on 104, and then I will end this video. So if I want to say I want to ride a motorcycle, how would I do motorcycle? Motorcycle. Yes. Grab my handlebars and turn that um, hand, that handlebar to make that noise that the motorcycle does, okay? Um, wagon or carriage? Yes. In a circle. Good job. Airplane, airport, or fly? Yes. The I love you sign and just go up in the air with it, baby. Yes, that's how you do it. Ship. The ship that's in the book, ship. The three hand shape, and then just let it float on the water. Good job. Boat. How would you do boat? Cup your hands, and then boat in the water. Great. So you all have done a fantastic job. I really appreciate you all being with me. I appreciate you all supporting this channel. If you know anyone else that would like to go over the words with the joy of signing, please uh, let them know about the channel. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like. I appreciate it. Um,
it just encourages me to do more if I know that, you know, somebody is watching them, watching the videos. All right. Well, you have a blessed day and a good rest of the week. And I will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye-bye.